All right, let's see. I got some videos to react to. I was gonna potentially listen to the Gunna album because I still have yet to listen to that, but let's react to these videos first. All right, so this one is... Um, quality, o quality over quantity. I, I think they changed the title, but when I saved the link, it was like quality over quantity. Why ye and NBA young boy are being successful um, because they drop so much music, which I've been saying this whole entire time. Like, not everybody can, not everybody can be Cardi, where they can wait two, three years to drop because everyone's gonna forget about you. Most likely, you have to build up the re the the reputation that you're gonna drop bangers if you're gonna wait that long. And most people do not have that. You got to be like Cardi, Kanye. That there's like less than a handful, or like less like up to five rappers that can wait that long otherwise you just have to continue dropping like it's fast food and remain relevant online over quantity we've all heard this term before it was something that was taught to us during elementary school however in today's digital age the volume of which you put out content is so much more important than the actual quality of the work i think anyone who creates now should shift their focus to quantity over quality let's take a look at yeet yeet is an artist that you've probably heard of through songs like out the way and by the way there are other like let's say older or more established rappers that did this as well. Let's say Uzi blew up because he was dropping back to back to back. What did he do? What were we talking about in 2020 where he was repeating 2016, dropping three mixtapes in one year? Because that's what he did in 2016 to blow up. Same thing with Future. He dropped tape after tape after tape. And Uzi calls him baby himself Baby Pluto for a reason because he was modeling himself after Future. And with enough repetitions... If you all read the outlier book, you will drop or or make a banger. But if you always are like hiding your music, you don't know what's going to actually work. If you only drop one song per year, like the feedback loop, it might take you 100 years to find that one perfect hit song. Whereas if you drop 100 songs in one year, one of them might blow up and now you know what the fans want. Yeah, okay. And he's just sort of a polarizing figure. Yeet is somebody that's never really gotten a number one song or a billboard song or a hot 100 song that's really pushed him into the mainstream. Yeet got famous by releasing so much music in such a short amount of time that everyone sort of just had to pay attention to him. He released- Uzi can wait if he wanted to though. Yes, but, but that's because he already built up the fan base from dropping so often. That's where it all starts. And Cardi- wasn't like this either back in the day like he he was dropping a lot of soundcloud music then he got the stimulus package from ian connor and asap rocky and then he built up that kind of repertoire of of uh just being rare but you can't start there who, who is trying to be rare right now so fago that's why that's why pink hearts didn't do as well as it as it was supposed to or as it projected because he just waited too long too early at least three albums in one year and then two mixtape two deluxes he would just put out so much music on such a consistent basis and he and his fans would market it on tiktok by just making like fun cardi delayed self-titled for three years yes but i was talking about soundcloud prior to then but also again we're talking about the general rule not necessarily the exceptions yes cardi probably did it way different than everybody else but he had like that it factor because of the cosigns like he was cosigned by asap bari asap rocky and those those artists were huge at the time and like very influential ian connor who was like very influential too he was one of the biggest people on the internet at the time so anything he touched turned to gold most artists you don't have that so you got to drop content so that you can actually build a fan base that continuously listens to your music and develops a relationship with you. Personally, I didn't start gaining until I, w I dropped YouTube videos daily with the eternal it takes shit and then the whole lot of red shit. And then it just turned into like a whole bunch of things. But I didn't realize what people wanted to see content about until I just went daily. Fun compilation videos. I need my drugs. I need my love. And just edits 
all this stuff like that until one of the songs, which was out the way, stuck and then it became his number one song. Another example of this is NBA Youngboy. Now, NBA Youngboy is one of the most streamed artists in the world, which is crazy. He's up there with Drake, The Weeknd, Juice World, and I bet if you thought about it, you couldn't really name a number one song or like that really big song that made NBA Youngboy blow up. You probably couldn't. He has a lot of good songs, but the most important thing that he did was put so much music out in such a short amount of time. Like if you look at this guy's discography, he has last year, I think in 2022, he released seven albums, which is insane because what you see in today's age with artists is that they wait a certain amount of years to release a project. Like you look at Frank Ocean and you look at Travis, each of these people haven't released an album in a good five years, which is like kind of crazy when you're an artist and you wanna be putting out work. But again, those are the exceptions, not the rule. And that's why people freak out over them because they just have exceptional music where you cannot, I don't know, it takes a whole decade to get to that point. Frank Ocean used to be a writer for like Beyonce and Justin Bieber and like, he writes songs for mega stars. So of course, you know, he, he makes exceptional music. And inspiring people. So I think really the most important thing to take away from this is that if you want to be an artist, you have to put out work on such a consistent basis and don't pay attention too much to the quality. Obviously you don't put out terrible work, but don't worry so much to where you think it has to be perfect before you put it out. I think you just put it out so people can digest it and then you'll get your f or you can pull a Kanye with the Saint uh, or the life of Saint Pablo and literally change it 10 times. Meanwhile, it's literally already dropped. Fix the mix, fix the features or whatever you got to do. Like you can you can go edit the the music behind the scenes behind your distro kid wall feedback and then you can move on to the next thing the most important thing because today's age is so saturated with artists and people making content is just putting stuff out there into the world for people to digest and listen to and take in that's the most important thing consistency so i think really what quantity over quality is is really just about consistency if you can put out also if you put out enough content or enough music, and this goes for all content creation, then you develop quality because if you wait to make everything perfect, you're not gonna get enough reps in. Like if you're only shooting, if you're making sure your mechanics on your shot are perfect before you shoot, so you only do like one every 10 minutes or one every minute, you, will get way less reps in to perfect your shot than if you just sit there and shoot for like an hour not really caring you know what i mean you'll get 10 shots in one minute and so after a while you just get that muscle memory and you'll get good on camera you'll get good on the mic and know how to flow and all that out quality work consistently then definitely do that but don't worry so much about perfecting it because quantity nowadays with the amount of stuff that's being put out online is the most important thing. You can just look at everybody who's blown up on TikTok and they, ha they haven't exactly done that because they make one TikTok every couple weeks and it's like this work of art. They literally just put out. How do you know when something like music is perfect? You can't, exactly, it's all subjective. I feel like also people fall in love with your imperfections, pause. You are. The only ex no pause. So I think that people like it when you mess up or when you're actually human. If you're literally an AI robot who's perfect at every moment because you're you're making sure the mix is on point, the the beat, like everything. There's literally no human element to it, and so there's no connection, or there's less of a connection. That's why I feel like AI music won't hit as hard as we think it will later on. I could be wrong, but I think humans will forever want to connect with other humans. And that's why we literally listen to music to connect with that person who's expressing some sort of emotion or like concept or whatever.
out random stuff that they make and then one of them will blow up. And if you're an artist, like you never know what is gonna do well and what isn't. So you really just have to test the waters and try, put so much stuff out so you can see how far you can go. But yeah, Yeet and NBA Youngboy, they're great examples of artists that have blown up based off the amount of work that they've put out. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 50 subscribers this month. It would mean a lot if you could leave a sub. I'd appreciate that. I'm just trying to put out work too, you know? And you should do the same. All right. Facts. Facts. Hold up.